Hi guys, it's Sunday, um, September 30th. Um, and I got this message actually last night and I'll read it to you today. All of my people wonder why terrible things are going wrong when I am in complete control. I do have complete control, but people are not robots. They have free will that is in their design. This causes them to make their own decisions. Yes, the flesh is neutral. The Holy Spirit is good and all the other spirits are evil. They find a place in your heart and they void that area of love. When your heart is filled with enough of these bad spirits, it grows cold. The Holy Spirit fights for space in your heart, but he needs to be invited. And even then, the evil spirits are stubborn like weeds. It is a rule that I cannot bend the will of a man. I can do everything except I cannot myself bend the will of a man. A man must make his decision of his own free will. I give my children tools to make their walk with me closer and easier. Pray in the Spirit constantly. Take the Lord's Supper as much as possible. Commune with me and do it as much as you can. And most importantly, stay in my word constantly. My people are naive to the power of the evil spirits that walk the earth. The flesh itself was created perfectly. I created the flesh and it was perfect. The only thing that has corrupted the flesh is Satan himself. Do not blame your flesh when you fall off my path but blame Satan and his evil spirits. Blaming the flesh, <clears throat> excuse me, is a lie. Don't let your heart be penetrated by these spirits. They pry their way in and never leave unless you kick them out. When you tell them to leave in the name of Jesus, you need to tell them to go to the feet of Jesus until the day of judgment. Cast them out and reclaim your hearts from the world's evil. Enough. Bring your clean hearts to me. Kick out the demons. If the evil is in your heart, the Holy Spirit doesn't fit. You need to evict these spirits and allow the spirit of the one living God, creator of all things, to fill your heart. Do people sin because they consciously want to? No. But if the Holy Spirit does not have a grip and a foothold in their hearts, if he is not the dominant resident within, sin will still reign in their lives. It is a matter of fact. Do what I tell you and the Holy Spirit will win the battle for your heart. Commune with me, pray in my language unceasingly, and abide in my word. You are the righteousness of Christ when you believe in me dying on the cross. Believe it and live it. Defeat Satan and his evil hosts. Do not be afraid, for it is time. The time is here. It is upon us. And then... I asked the Lord what to title this, and he just said to me to title it all. Hell is going to break loose, so sit back and watch. Um, so that's why it's titled this. But okay, so guys, have a great day.